What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Knuckles from Sonic 2. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page and draw an oval for the nose. Starting from the very top, it's gonna work our way around towards the bottom and then back up. Now we draw a small oval along the top for a highlight. Going all the way around and then up and then we'll fill in the bottom of the nose. Now with the nose in place, let's draw the top edge of the muzzle. We're going to start over on the left side, curve this up, and then back down on the right. Round out the bottom and go up towards the cheeks. Come down, and then that up. Let's round out the side of the cheek, going around and just pulling that in towards the chin. And then we'll close off the bottom with a curve. Starting over on the left, come down, and then we'll bend that back up. Now you want to shift the mouth over towards the left side. So just underneath the top edge of the muzzle, start with a bracket. And then from the side, curve the mouth coming down, and just pull that up on the right. Now with the muzzle in place, we're going to move up and draw in the eyes. Let's start right in the middle with a straight line going up to separate the brow. Let's go over towards the left side, curve the upper eyelid going up, and then bending that out. Go over towards the right and do the same thing. Now the outside of the eye is going to get tucked in underneath the brow. So from the top, we're going to step in, round this out, and then pull that in toward the muzzle. Let's push the iris and pupil towards the inside of the eye. Starting underneath the eyelid, we draw a half oval. Going around, and then up. Let's add a smaller half oval on the inside. And just trace that out. Add a small curve along the top of the pupil. And then we'll fill in the bottom. Let's enhance the brow by adding a fold. Leave a gap in the center. We'll start on the left, curve this up and out. Go to the right and do the same thing. Let's add the first spike coming down along the side of the head. Starting on the outside of the eye, it's going to curve around the cheek, come down and then bend that in. Let's line this up on the right. Going around the cheek, come down and then bend that in towards the same height. Now from the bottom, we're just going to taper this so it gets wider as you come back up and in towards the top of the head. So we'll go around, pull this up, and then we'll bend that in. And then we'll layer the back side of the head in behind. Along the side, curve this up, go across the middle, and then out towards the right. Now I'm going to add a point coming in and then down. Let's tuck the right side in behind, going across and then we'll bend that down. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. Over on the left side, we leave a gap underneath the chin, curve the body going out and then in towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, going around and then in. Let's bend the legs coming down towards the boot going out and down, and they'll round out the bottom of the ankle, coming down and up. Now we're going to go in between the hips, step down to add a curve, going up and then down, and we'll tuck the inside leg underneath. Just want the same curve along the outside, coming in. Now from here we're going to wrap the cuff around the leg. From this point, we're going to step up, we're going to draw an oval. Going all the way around, just tuck that in on the inside. And then from the side of the cuff, draw two straight lines coming down. And we'll close off the bottom with that same curve, coming down and up. 
Now from here, I'm going to tuck the feet in underneath the cuff. From that inside corner, step out, curve in, and then down towards the heel. And then we'll round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel. Coming down, and then bending that up on the outside. Now going back to the left, we're going to round out the top of the foot. Let's go up, and then bend that down. Let's add that thick sole along the bottom of the feet. So we're going to take this curve, step up from the toe, and just trace that across towards the heel. Let's add in the toe cap. Starting from the top of the foot, come in, and then down towards the sole. Underneath the cuff, draw a straight angle line coming out in behind the toe cap. Now let's separate out the heel. From the top, go out and down. Now let's go back up and draw the arms in behind these two spikes. Halfway down the side of the body, we'll start right here. Curve the arm going out and then down. Now we're going to overlap the large cuff on top of the arm. From the bottom of the arm, we're going to step in, curve this up, and then bend that out. And then from the outside of the cuff, we'll step in, follow that same curve, going up and in behind the spike. Continue up and in underneath the head. Let's flatten off the edge of the cuff. Start from the outside, draw a straight angle line coming down, on the outside and inside. And we'll connect the ends with that same curve. Now for the inside of the cuff, we're going to start with a thumb. Come in and then out like a half circle. Close off the end with a bracket. Let's add those three fingers. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, come down and bend that up. Step down. Come down and up with the second finger. Now on the outside, I'm going to curve the last finger going out and pull that in towards the outside of the cuff. Now we're going to add two spikes on the back of each hand. Starting right in the middle of the hand, draw a backward C. And then from the top and bottom, it's going to go out towards the point. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start with that C, and then go out towards a point. Now the second spike is going to be tucked in behind the side of the hand. So we'll start up here, come down and out, and we'll pull that back in. Let's add the tail over on the left side. Start from the hip, come down and out, and then we'll taper that back in. Now we're going to go up to the top of the body and add that patch. Starting on the left side, start by coming down and then up on the right, like a half circle. Let's go back to the left side, go up a little bit higher in the middle, and then out towards the right. Now we want to add two spikes coming down in behind the head. So from the outside of the cheek, we'll step in, curve down and in behind the arm. Do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Knuckles from Sonic 2. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.